So one of the cool things about uh, Mosaic Canyon and what gives it its name is there are all of these these types of rocks. What kind of rock is this? This should be an easy one. Breccia, yeah. Um, and these breccias, you know, they're basically fanglomerate. So much like the rocks we saw in the canyon the other day, these are these are very young. You know, tens or tens of thousands of years, probably not not very old. They just cement quickly, and they're basically plastered against the walls. This is a, a great place to see something called a buttress unconformity. So right here, you know, there's an unconformity separating. This is the uh, Neoproterozoic Noonday Dolomite again, um, which we've seen a few times now. Um, and then this is this quaternary uh, breccia. And you can see there's breccia there, there's breccia there. So the unconformity surface here, so this is an unconformity, but it's not, it's not it wasn't originally horizontal. This was the canyon wall. So the, the uh, you know, the layers are flat, but you can see they, they buttress up against the side of the, this, this canyon wall. So it's a classic, there are a lot of classic examples of uh, what we call a buttress unconformities here. And if you look closely within the, uh, within the breccias, there are breccias uniformities within the breccias. So here, there's older breccia here, and then there's a younger breccia here with, you can see with the more, the noonday breccia class, and there's a little sub unconformity inside of it, um, which is another uh, buttress unconformity. So if you keep your eyes out, you'll see that the walls, the walls of this canyon sort of look like the, like the patchwork of like, I don't know, old buildings in Venice or something like that, where they've been repaired multiple times with like new infills of breccia, like uh, patched into little holes in the walls of the canyon. So anyway, cool stuff. <laughs> Notice also that the dolomite here is also somewhat myelinized. Got some little faults here and there. Here you can see some, some of the sort of wall patching effect with the buffer swing conformities. So one thing you see here in some of these um, more resistant layers, like this little brown layer, it has these little like normal faults in it actually. So sometimes when layers start, so this is probably slightly more resistant, and so it's basically beginning to boudinage. And so each of these little breaks is a basically a little normal fault that's allowing extension of this layer. So if you look if you look closely, you'll see lots of little micro scale extensional tectonics in these rocks. You don't want to be in here during a flash flood.
Okay, so can anyone spot the um, the detachment fault here? Yeah, I mean, it's basically basically right here. So we have the top of the Noonday Dolomite here. Then you can see over there, there's a bunch of um, sheared up green rocks. That's basically part of the brittle detachment zone of the Tuckeye Mountain Detachment. Um, uh, and so that's part of the... So this is the Neoproterozoic uh, Noonday Dolomite, and that's the Neoproterozoic Johnny Formation. So they would have originally been in, in you know, depositional contact above one another. Um, but then basically, you know, if that contact was sitting down near the brittle, brittle ductal transition, then this stuff stayed acting brittly and became the, the hanging wall where it has mostly brittle deformation. You can see it's all, it's all fractured up. Um, and then the, the foot wall of this fault has this more ductal uh, fabric. And so basically that brittle ductal transition zone here just basically got reactivated as a, as a, a detachment fault.